All right, this is uh, episode 32 of the Dots and Restoration 521 Upgrade. Uh, so on this episode, I think uh, is where I break the bolt on the head and uh, tear it apart. But also get the wipers installed, some kick panels installed. Finally fix the turn signals and the horn. Finally have a working horn. And some other little things I think fix. But mainly it's about tearing apart the engine and uh, and see if I can find a way to fix the engine. Fix the uh, no idle issue. So it ends up uh, kind of going backwards. End up uh, stripping apart the engine and try to fix it. Taking the head off. So enjoy episode 32. Like and subscribe and... <laughs> oh, lick me. Like and subscribe and... Uh, you want to see more videos? Okay, so I put a new fuel filter. I had a special order from O'Reilly's. There's the part number. I did not fix the idle issue. So I did notice with the engine running and I pull off cylinder one, it does stutter. So it is actually running on four cylinders, even though zero, cylinder one has got zero PSI. So I just put some uh, sea foam in the tank whole bottle with about three gallons and I filled up cylinder one with some uh, Marvel Mr. Roll. I got in about half a bottle and it started coming out. So that means uh, it's full. So I'm going to let that soak for a day or so and then I'll crank it over and oh, I'll put the spark plug back in now. I'll crank it over and uh, see if that makes a difference. While I was running it yesterday, I don't know if it was on video or not, but my plug fell off my hose. So all my water came out, so uh, I'm gonna have to hook up that hose correctly and put the radio, fill the radiator back up with water. But it's actually running really good uh, with zero psi, just one idle. Okay, I got some uh, used rubber seals from don't know what vehicle, um, but it's it fits. This is the uh, profile. I was missing the door seals and a friend of mine, Keith, if you're watching, thanks man. Uh, I just installed it on the left side and I had to cut out that much. And they fit perfectly. So I'm not sure what vehicle these are from, but they work. So let me install them on this side. There you go, rubber seal installed. Let's see if it still fits. Oh. Hitting something? Oh, it must be. It must be snug. This one doesn't want to shut as good as the other side. Yeah. I think it's because it's a different shape of rubber. Well, that'll probably make it waterproof, I would think. So this is my before, or the stock exhaust, inch and a half tubing. Hangs down below the frame rails, which is very odd. I don't think that's factory, but it could be. I screwed up, it's muffler's rubbing on the frame, so I gotta cut it, move it. So I might as well replace it with some two inch pipe instead of one and a half. So let's cut it off. All right, so I just got the new seat belts. I think they're auto friendly brand. So I picked this style. They look like factory ones. They've got the rigid inner piece I can bolt into the seat which is cool and they're just retractable three-point harnesses so I'm really curious if this actually fits into the stock uh, Ultima seat I doubt it but we'll try all right so let's see these are the stock Ultima Nissan seats oh wow Seems like they fit. That's interesting. So, I don't know if these are the same length. I think they're a little bit shorter. These are, hmm, these don't look that great. I need to clean that up with heat though, I think. Oh, now I have options. So I guess this is some kind of standard nowadays. The other million dollar question is this fit back here? Back here. So. All right. 
Can't do this one handed. Alright, I just realized the head bolts are supposed to be 61 and a half. Not 41 or whatever. I just looked in the book. I was watching the video that I made. And I'm like, 41 or whatever I typed into is not enough. So, let's start the head some more. 61. I also did it in the wrong order. It's supposed to be middle out, not. Oh, I need an extension there. A little one. Do it twice, right, Amber? Number one, I think, is this one. Okay, that's 61. Clockwise or counterclockwise? I love how it makes that noise. Alright, so I got all the head bolts out. So luckily the bolt didn't break, it just stripped out the bob threads. So obviously there's three sizes. Which is weird because there's four cam towers, but two are shorter than the other ones. Ooh, which ones are which? I think the cam towers all look the same height. Oh man, I hope they're so obviously that was not where the tall one goes. So maybe, I don't know. I'm gonna have to look in the book. Let's see, hopefully it's explained. Where do I got the wrong bolts? I don't know. Now here's an update. I got the wipers installed. These actually came with the truck. Uh, brand new 13 inch. They do make stainless steel ones, but since these are brand new and they came with the truck, <clears throat> I just installed them. So they should work now. I got my uh, V6. It's actually basically my disc disc proportion valve slash master cylinder installed. That's a four cylinder, that's a six cylinder, that's the two wheel drive, that's the four wheel drive. So I gotta install it next. And also I got the turn signals working finally. Let's see if they still work. Turn the key on. Hey, they still work. Cool. So I had to take the switch all apart and I had six ohms of resistance on the turn signal wire on the switch so i just took it all apart and i sprayed it with some electrical cleaner and it works and now the horn works also so just a little bit of cleaner oh and also got the seat belts installed I don't know if you can see that i got my new seat belts installed and they actually fit the the nissan ultima reciprocals but I'll probably change those out for the new ones. So here's some uh, wiper parts that came with it. These didn't fit. I don't think these were for a truck. Uh, here's my taillights. I think I was going to get rid of these, but these are the original 521 taillight harness. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those. I'd still love to get some 521 taillights one day if they ever make any. And I went and stripped all the uh, orange out of the coilovers. Painted those red. 
to match the truck. And uh, I don't know if I finally found the wiper cover. I don't know if it's complete. It looks like it's a little bit of a hole here. But a friend of mine actually told me what this was. I didn't know what this was, but this is the missing wiper grommet. I didn't know I had it, but I do. So that's pretty good. It's kind of a big hole though. Maybe I can glue that up, make that work. So I was looking for some head bolts for the engine. And I stumbled on a complete L20 engine and training that basically I got for scrap metal prices. It's a little rusty, but there's a ton of good parts. Here's the head bolts. I don't know if they can be saved. I don't even know. I think I only counted about seven. That's a complete L20 from a 74 610, I think. Somebody took apart many years ago and somebody left outside with the old, uh, was it three speed? Automatic that I had in my 620. I even got the smog pump. I never had one of those before. Carburetor intake. I think it's everything but the distributor. I don't have a distributor, but I got two extras. So in theory, I could put this on a run stand and the cool thing is I did get the PCV hose, which I'm missing on mine. It's in okay shape. But yeah, let's see if I can... Uh... And this is, should be the car oil pan as opposed to the truck oil pan. I wonder if I could resurrect this engine. At least it's got a ton of parts. I need to start uh, soaking this thing. I'll be rid this block should be rebuildable, even though it didn't look that bad, actually. Still a little surface rust. It's unfortunate I got left out in the weather. Who would do that? It's such a beautiful engine. Oh, well. I really just wanted the head bolts, but now I've got a timing cover and a block. I could, in theory, make my L16 and L20. And I don't know what's different, the crank pistons. I don't know what makes it an L20. Because the block is like an inch taller. So I guess the rods are longer. I don't know if the pistons are the same or different. I need to figure that out. But at least I got another and third alternator and third belt, third fan. Uh, the brackets. Massive filter. Missing the starter as well. Got the linkage though. I actually put this training in the truck. I my three speed was perfectly fine. It was just gutless with the automatic on my 620. Oh, I got the little shifter. I mean, the linkage. The uh, what do you call? Uh, the dipstick tube. The chain is different too. The L L18 and L20. But those are like 12 bucks or something. Okay, so I got the fuel pump, which is, oh, actually I got the bracket. I don't know what this bolt is. Almost looks like a broken head bolt, but I think there's threads right there. So I don't know what that bolt was for. Never had one of these. I've never had a 2 Series anything Nissan engine. So this would be different. I gotta get this thing out of my truck. But the cool thing was, my son picked it up in his Frontier. It's 24, D41. And then I just backed up to his Frontier back to back. And we just slid it across from truck to truck. And it's exactly the same length as a D40, D41 crew cab. <laughs> Look at the size of this thing. L20B with a tranny. Fits perfectly into a Frontier. Who knew? Now you know. Here we go. This engine only came with seven of the ten bolts. There's two sizes for the L series. I found out later. That's the last video. Here's the two bolts from the L16. They're too short. You can see how they're quite a few threads shorter. I have no idea what these short bolts are from, but they're obviously in between the long and the short. So I have no idea what engine those are for. 
But that's where I need two more of those. This engine came with three of these, four of those. I don't think, I don't know if these bolts are savable. Pretty nasty. I'll try. Clean them up and see what they look like. Hopefully they still have the strength. If not, I'll have to buy new bolts. But that's how I found this engine. The guy said he had bolts. So I bought the whole thing for 20 bucks, engine and training and extra parts. But we'll see if I can use these. See if they clean up. Here's the L20B and uh, 3N71B, three speed training. Man, I've seen the bottom of these since the 80s, since my 620 had this training. So you can see it's got a hole here. I think that's from the junkyard. I think they poked the hole in it to drain the oil. So this is obviously a junkyard engine. So who knows why this thing ended up in the junkyard. I don't know, those training bolts. So this is just a note to myself on the training lines. What is that weird looking thing? So that's the coolant lines. So it was on the second from the front and that one. So the two bolts hold the lines. Let's take out these training lines. Had to cut this bolt because it was the head was stripped. Finally get this thing separated. Here's an original 74 L20. Looks like the original Hitachi logos, timing cover, oil pump, distributor. I mean, uh, alternator. Got the clutch fan off. I don't think this thing's ever been taken apart before. Uh, it's just rusty. So I'm gonna keep all these bolts. These are better than the ones I got. This is a 74 610 L20B before disassembly. So uh, I'm going to reuse everything. I probably just won't use this fan clutch. I may do electric. Who knows? Other than that, I'm planning on using this block and this timing cover. And uh, you know, obviously the crank and pistons if they'll work. Okay, here we go. So there's a, uh, what is that? An 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 8 millimeter, 6, 6, 6. So there's 3 eights and 3 sixes on the right. On this side we got one, two, three uh, eights, and they got one, two, six millimeters on the left. Cars. On the water pump we got two eights, and we got three sixes. One of them is built into the pump. That's the left side, that's the water pump. Yeah, I got that one. Oh, and then there's four sixes on the... Uh, Oil pan. One was longer than the rest. So that's where the alternator goes. I keep forgetting where that goes. Second one down. Oh, and there's two bolts on the top of the head, but those are missing because the head's off. Here's the L20 stripped down. Only well, got two more things to take off this side. Nothing on this side and the torque converter. But I can't get the torque converter off until I turn over the crank. I'm gonna turn over the crank. I gotta drop the pistons at the bottom or get it to spin. So I think I'm gonna make an engine stand for it, soak this thing for like a month or whatever it takes, and then uh, get it to spin. Then I can disassemble it and if I have to we'll get it uh, machined. But I think it's a low mileage. There's no ridge on here. I think somebody took it apart for no reason at all. Maybe a head gasket. But, um, yeah, let's clean up. I don't think this thing's ever been apart before. It seems very original. All right, so I just sprayed a little uh, acid on these pistons. And uh, now I just hosed it off with a little water. Before I soaked this thing down with oil, I just got rid of all the mud daubers. Hosed out the gallery here. And uh, it's looking a lot better. I just need to get rid of all this water and fill it up with oil and let it soak for a couple of days. So I can crank it over and... Alright, so I'm having a problem finding, uh... I was trying to find some new bolts. I stripped out this one when I torqued it. It snapped out. I think it was this one. So I finally ordered a new bolt. Just found out I can get them from Nissan for 8 bucks. But, uh... 
Some stuff I've read said there's two sizes. Obviously, the ones with the towers are longer than the ones without towers. But I found some old documentation saying there's three sizes, a small, medium, and a large. So, uh, I was trying to figure out where the mediums go. But check this out. If I put this one in this hole, it sticks up higher. So it looks like this rear one is medium. And then the other three, so that goes farther down. So it looks like it's large, 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 medium, short, 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 short. So anyways, now that I finally got some bolts coming, I'm going to tear this head off. Alright, I just received my hood cable and uh, from Made in Japan, got it from Thailand. It looks like it's a factory part number. Anybody that knows Nissan part numbers. Anything that starts with a 6 is the front of the vehicle. First five digits is the part number, and then B is the vehicle, and the actual uh, vehicle it fits. So that's what I thought. B was on the door locks. There was a B on each one. I think it was a B L, B R, and a B L, like right and left. So I assumed B was the vehicle, and there's a B again. So I think I'm onto something. But uh, I'll explain part numbers in another video. I think. And I finally got a hood latch, so I'm gonna take off the grill and put on the hood release cable. So I can put a hood on this thing eventually. So I finally took the head off. <clears throat> the valves look original. Still got the Nissan logo on them, which is unfortunate. I was hoping they were upgraded to unleaded valves. I need to leak test that first cylinder. But I finally figured out <clears throat> it's not documented in any of the books, which I have this and I have a PDF for like a 73 L16. But I don't have it for 70. So the early 70 and 71, it looks like, L16 have three bolt sizes. The newer ones have two bolt sizes. There's long, medium, short, long, medium, short. So somebody put the medium one in the wrong hole. I think it was in this one. The medium was in here and it popped the threads out. Well, damaged the bolt. Here's the three bolts. You got six shorts, two mediums, two longs. So when I tried to torque it, the head bolts weren't tight when I bought the truck for some reason. So I tightened it, tried to go to like 40 foot-pounds, and the thread just popped off. Because that bolt was in the hole. Also, I just noticed the dowels are missing that locate the head. They're not on the head, and they're not on the block. So, luckily, I just picked up an L20 engine and a tranny from a 610. So the engine's pretty bad shape, but I do have pins for the block. 